Hey guys! So there has been a trend going around lately where people try to follow other YouTubers' beauty tutorials. So I thought it would be really fun if today I tried to recreate a actual, authentic, historical makeup tutorial because those were around. Beauty tutorials and guides and how-tos have been made for centuries and you can find some really old ones which are really cool. I may actually get to those later but today I'm gonna try a video tutorial from the 1960s and I found this one on the Glamour Days YouTube channel. I love the Glamour Days website as well. They have amazing kind of contemporary beauty resources in regards to you know vintage and historical beauty. So this is a makeup tutorial from the 1960s and I'm gonna try and follow this from beginning to end let's see how I do or let's see how I end up looking in the end I am really really excited so let's get started straight away go easy or the results can become ludicrous take advantage of what's there okay I think I need accentuate to... the good points minimize the others tie my hair back optical illusions can, in many cases, produce the wanted effects. A light base will make the eyes look smaller. A dark base will make them appear larger. Are we going into a bit of color theory here? Foundation is used as a base for the rest of your makeup. Liquid foundation. Work the foundation from the center of the face toward the hairline using gentle upward strokes. Make sure it's blended evenly. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try that. So she's applying it with her hands only. And working it from the center of the face, out. Upward strokes. I can do that. <laughs> Cosmeticians will guide you in your color choice. A foundation with a pink glow will brighten a sallow skin. Oh, wait. While a reddish skin can be toned down she with is a beige foundation. Using a tissue Not to blot it up. With a tissue. Okay, wait. How much foundation did she apply that she needs to blot off the excess with a tissue? It's probably a different formula from what we use nowadays, but hey, I'm just gonna roll with it. Something did actually come off. All right, let's continue. If you have disturbed skin, medicated makeups are available. Dark circles Concealer. under the eyes are often caused by not enough sleep and lack of iron. Okay, so she's applying it under her eyes. Like that. To cover them up, Use a foundation two or three tones oh, lighter I use than concealer. your face, or a highlighting cream. Blush is applied. Oh, whoa, whoa, to wait! Give cheeks a quiet. I'm not done with the foundation yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have listened first and applied later. Now I totally use concealer, but it looks very similar to what she used, and I am definitely using the same technique here. Blusher was it right? Bright glow. A good rule to follow is never let blush come nearer the nose than an imaginary line dropped vertically from the center of the eye. Okay, so that's a powder. She's going straight into powder after foundation. Powder, blusher, I've just brought out all the makeup I have. It's all on the table in front of me. So let's go for a pinky color. And she's using quite a small brush with that, so I'm going to go with this one. A blush. Now what was that rule? Blush should be applied from the center of the cheek outward and up into the temples. All right. Oh, Blushes center can line. also be used for contouring. Example, a tone three shades darker than the foundation can be used to point up a cheekbone or diminish a wide jaw. Powder sets and blends. Wait, wait, makeup. wait. It's so fast. Okay, wait. So blush from the center of the cheek up into the temple. Okay, I'm just gonna play that contouring bit again. Example, a tone three shades darker than the foundation can be used to point up a cheekbone or diminish. Okay, 
So she is shaping it in a way... Let me just use a bronzer here for that. She is creating like kind of a rounded shape here and then going straight down and then here. So round and then down and then here. A wide jaw. Powder sets and blends your makeup. The Loose simplest powder. powder to use is a colorless translucent one. Okay, wait. So I have colorless translucent powder here somewhere. See? Got it. And a cotton ball. Apparently. Pat on liberally. A tuft of cotton that can be thrown away is the best powder puff to use. Wait for the powder to set. Oh, then wait, with wait, another... I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but this is quite intense powdering, I have to say. All right, a lot of powder. Clean powder puff. Brush away excess with downward strokes. Okay, so I need to take another one. I'm not gonna do that, because that's just wasteful, 60s lady. And I'm just gonna turn it around, use the other side and wipe off this. <gasps> okay, this is gonna sound so weird, but I, I hate the feeling of cotton balls for the longest time. As a child and teenager, I couldn't touch cotton balls at all. Oh my god, I'm getting goosebumps all over! This is like nails on chalkboard for me. It's that same kind of... Oh my god, that is not something I'm gonna be implementing in my beauty routine. I'm glad that's over, what's the next step? Eyebrows frame the eye and focus interest on them. They are also important in the shaping of the nose. Pointed eyebrows can make a nose seem longer. What's that? To remove straggly brows, lubricate them with Vaseline or baby oil and pluck with tweezers. I have some Vaseline, wait. All right, I've got my Vaseline and she appears to be shaping her eyebrows with that. Oh, that does actually work. Like, the Vaseline works, but my finger doesn't really... Oh, wait, here we go. That actually looks really nice. I wonder how long it lasts, but... Hmm. All right, not bad, not bad at all, actually. I'm really surprised about this one. Oh, tweezers, I did that this morning, so I'm all set. Never pluck eyebrows further than the line even with the inside corner of your eye. Other plucking should be done under the brow and never above it. The color of your eye pencil good. should be as close as possible to your natural color. Eyebrow pencil. Only the darkest brunettes should use a black pencil. The highest point of the arch should be a straight line from the outer edge of the iris. The tapered right. end of the brow should form a straight line past the outer corner of the eye to the side of the nostril. Straight line though. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Eyebrow pencil really isn't my tool of choice. It goes really soft from the Vaseline, so it's just going everywhere. It does make it a little bit easier to work with, actually. All right, I think I'm done here. Blend pencil strokes into your brow with a clean mascara brush. I can do that, I can do that. Mascara applied to lashes would complete the well-groomed eye and is sufficient eye makeup for the early teens. I'm not However, a teen anymore. if you wish to give more attention to the eye, you may use the following procedure. Oh. A lid highlight with a creamy pale shade is flattering to most eyes. Okay, so I don't actually have a cream eyeshadow in the right color, but I do have a very creamy <laughs> powder eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use this one, I think, which is a little bit metallic-y, which hers definitely seems to be. Pretty kind of neutral goldish, I think. So I'm gonna apply that on my lid. 
Never wear bright, what she's obvious doing? evening colors. For contour and emphasis, a taupe or brown shade is placed into the lid crease and just above the lid. Brown into the crease and just above the lid. That sounds pretty familiar. A gleam of pearly white or beige on the bone just beneath the brow emphasizes the bone structure. There we go. That is shimmery. <laughs> Eyeliner is used to make the lashes seem longer. There should be no hard, obvious line. That's a liquid eyeliner in a jar. <gasps> I want it. Okay, what's the closest thing I have today? I think it's gonna have to be my gel liner. Okay, so I have my gel liner here and I'm gonna take a brush. Apply as close to the lashes as possible. And remember, black can only be worn by girls with very black hair. Oops. A flattering shade for blondes or brunettes as black adds harshness to the eye. Sorry! No, oh, wait, 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 going too fast. Okay, so there's no wing, no anything. And apparently I'm not supposed to use black. I think that's it. So now she's using mascara. Let's see what the rules are for that. So look longer and fuller. Incidentally, no amount of eye makeup will help if your eyes are drowsy and lackluster. <laughs> to be wide-eyed and alert, Thanks, lady. a full measure of sleep is necessary. The right food definitely relates to the clearness and sparkle of your eyes. Vitamin A and plenty of water are essential for this. After the mascara, separate the lashes with a clean brush. Oh, okay. Oh, that does look nice, actually. Makes it look a little bit more natural. The generally accepted age for wearing lipstick is about 14. A subtle color is the most becoming. To apply lipstick, prop your elbows firmly on the table. That's her subtle color. Your chin with one wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna... Whilst I need to find a similar color to that. I do think I have something that looks like that. Pretty close, I dare say. So she's applying it with a brush. Studying the action with your drawing hand. Ooh. Start from the center of the upper lip, drawing a smooth curve to the outer corner. On the lower lip, start Wait. the corner. Wait! I'm not a big fan of the hand thing. <laughs> okay, bottom lip. Corner and come to the center with a brush laid flat. Fill in with the brush or the lipstick itself. Blot the excess. I'm just going to use the foundation tissue again. This lady is so wasteful. Okay, blot the excess. For a softer, smoother look, apply a lip gloss. Remember, lips need protection as well Oh, she's as going skin. back in. If you prefer not to wear a lipstick, do wear a lip gloss. Lip shapes can be changed. For really? example, thin lips can be corrected by overpainting. Thick lips can be narrowed by covering them with base, then using color only toward the inside of the lips. Two wide lips can be made less obvious by covering the outer corners with base. Skin blemishes cannot be entirely avoided by most young girls. Makeup can conceal them. That's concealer! But a healthy diet and cleanliness. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I don't have a stick, but I think a cream would count, right? So apparently this is applied after powder and everything. <laughs> Go in with a bit of that. I have a blemish right here. What are the tips? Most important, never pick or squeeze a blemish. It makes matters worse. Oh, I'm done. That didn't work as well for me as it did for her. <laughs> so here we are. My 1960s makeup look is done. And it actually looks nothing like all the 60s makeup looks I have done on my channel before. I have to say, this is actually really flattering makeup. I'm not a big fan of the super metallic everything on the eyeshadow. But as far as, you know, my base, let me just clip my bangs back here because I do think that looks a bit better. I'm just gonna put that headband back on. They actually had some really useful tips that 
can definitely still be applied nowadays and still look good. I loved the Vaseline on the eyebrows. I think that looks really good. I do think this is very flattering. And I love the emphasis on keeping things simple and natural. I think that is something good that we could learn something from nowadays as well. Talking to you, Instagram girls. <laughs> so yes, here is my finished result. What do you think, guys? I think they have a few tutorials from different decades as well, so I could try to recreate those as well if you guys are interested in that and also do let me know. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, there will be a link in the description box below. Thank you so much. There's another video here that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!